Hey guys, it's NM Build here, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to a circuit called a voltage divider. Alright, hey guys, okay. Voltage dividers. Here, here's what the uh, basic circuit diagram for a voltage divider looks like. So we have the battery, let's call it 9 volts, a uh, positive line, negative line, two resistors in series, and a middle rail. The cool thing about voltage dividers, what they do is they divide the voltage. So this can be any voltage you want it to be. So you can limit voltage or regulate voltage with two resistors, which is really kind of cool if you don't have the means to use a voltage regulator in every single one of your circuits because they can be kind of expensive. But they only work if you have a really steady voltage supply. This first res resistor is called R1, the second resistor is called R2. The voltage drop or the voltage potential between these two lines is V1 and the voltage potential between these two lines is V2. The current being let through this resistor is called I1 and the current being let through this resistor is called I2. All right, with that all out of the way, I'm gonna show you three really important equations. First one is V1 equals V in R1 over R1 plus R2, okay? Second one is very very similar to that one, so V2 equals V in times R2 over R1 plus R2. Third one is V in equals V1 plus V2. Um, I guess a fourth one would be Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. And this is all you'll need for this tutorial. So let's say I'm going to use an example with these two. Uh, actually, I'm going to I'm going to do an example with these three equations. Uh, maybe not the second one. Um, all right. So let's say we have our voltage divider. So we have a nine volt power supply, and then so that's the battery. So we have 9 volt power supply, battery there. Okay, let's say that R1 equals 100 ohms, R2 equals 200 ohms. Okay, so, and we're wondering what V1 and V2 are. Uh, so we're gonna use, let's use this first equation because that's all we'll need. And then, so we do V1 equals uh, 9 volts, which is V in times 100, which is R1 over 100 which is R1 again, plus 200, which is R2, okay? <clears throat> so that we can cross out um, all the two zeros and the units, because units can divide out also. V1 equals 9 volts times 1 over 3, which is what this all adds up to. And then so we have V1 equals 9 volts over 3, so V1 equals 3 volts, all right? With the knowledge that V1 equals 3 volts, we can say V1 plus V2 equals V in, and then 3 plus V2 equals 9 volts, oops, okay, V2 equals 6 volts, all right? So we know that 3 volts and 6 volts, and that's one of the very useful things about this equation, as you can solve for that. But what if we want to design one? What if we want to take into account uh, current and we want to design our own voltage divider which um, supplies a given current and a given voltage to a load? Well, here's how you do that. So let's start with a power supply. Voltage dividers only really work well if you have a steady power supply. Okay, so we have a power supply of 9 volts, all right, and then we have our two resistors in parallel, I mean two resistors in series. And then this, okay. And we have a load right here which requires 3 volts and 9.1 milliamps, alright? So, right there. Since this load needs 3 volts, um, we say that V2 is 3 volts, okay? V2 is 3 volts, which means that 9 minus 3 is uh, V1, so V1 equals 6 volts. You don't have to do that step now, um, but I just wanted to show you that now. Okay, so 3 volts at 9.1 milliamps, we need to know this resistance. And here's something called the 10% rule, which says that this resistor should let through 10% um, of the load current. So I2 should be 10% of the load current. So I2 is 10% of 9.1 milliamps. So I2 equals 0 
milliamps. All right, I didn't give myself enough space, but I2 equals 0 0.91 milliamps. All right, and the reason that we use the 10% rule is to waste less current just going draining into uh, ground. Okay, so what's R2? Well, to figure that out, we're gonna use Ohm's law. So V equals IR, which is Ohm's law. And I have a tutorial on Ohm's law, which I'll just put a link to right there if you wanna go see it. So V equals IR, three volts equals um, the current, which is 0 0.91 milliamps um, times R. Okay. We, gotta rem we need to remember that Ohm's law takes current in amps, not milliamps. So 3 volts equals 0 0.00091 amps times R. Solve for R, we get 3296 ohms. Now resistors don't ex actually exist in this value. They exist more in 3300 uh, 3, ohms, which is fine because it's only 4 ohms off. And I mean, even 200 ohms off wouldn't be a big deal for something like this. So we, we know that this R needs to be... 3,300 ohms, okay, equals R2. So, R2 equals 3,300 ohms. Okay, now you're wondering, well, what's R1? Well, R1 needs to be able to supply uh, 0 0.91 milliamps and 9.1 milliamps because uh, it's going to be giving this resistor the current that it's uh, pushing to ground and it's gonna be supplying the current that goes to the load. So 0 0.91 milliamps plus 9.1 milliamps equals 10 milliamps. So that's going to be the that's going to be I1, all right? I1 is 10 milliamps. I1 equals 10 milliamps, all right? So now that we know from before we solved for 6 volts right there. V1 equals 6 volts. Now that we know I1 and V1, it's possible to use Ohm's law to solve for uh, R1, okay? So we can just say um, I1 plus R1. I mean, I1 times R1 equals V1. And we know I1, which is 10 milliamps, times R1, which is our variable, and 6 volts, which is V1, okay? Remember, we need to convert this to amps, so it's going to be 0 0.01 amps times R1 equals 6 volts. And then this is just going to be like multiplying by 100. So R1 equals 600 ohm. Simple as that. And that's it. That's all we need to know. And you'll get uh, good at doing this. You'll see it's simple. It looks kind of complicated at first, but you'll see, it <clears throat> you'll see it's pretty simple. So we could rewrite this schematic like this. Okay. So this would be how you would power a load like this. And you could... Do the same thing with something up here, and that's exactly how you would do it. Uh, so good luck with doing this, and good luck with it, whatever you're building, and I will see you next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.